<laughs> so this is the camera. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to Tech Genie. Today we're going to be telling you what camera we use to film our YouTube videos. So without any further ado guys, let's get straight into today's video. Okay guys, so the video camera that we use to film our videos is the Canon HFR406. Now this retails at around £140, the exact price will be on the screen at the moment. And don't forget guys, this camera isn't one of those DSLR slash point and shoot cameras. This is a camcorder style, long thin kind of thing, so you should be able to see what it looks like at the moment. Okay, so I'm going to jump straight into things I like about this camera and then go into things that I really do not like about the camera. So jumping into the things that I like about this camera guys, the first thing is the flip screen at the front. Now this flip screen is really useful, especially if you've only got one of you filming, it's nice to see what's in shot and what's not in shot. So you pivot the camera screen around so you guys can see what you're filming and what's in shot. But I would say when you're filming with it, I don't really look at the screen because if you look now, I'm looking at the lens and it kind of looks like I'm looking straight at you. Whereas now I'm looking at myself in the screen and you can see that I'm not really looking straight at the camera and it seems like I'm looking a little bit in the wrong direction. So this flip screen is kind of useful because it's really nice to know what composition you're getting especially when you're the only person filming. Okay then the second thing I like about this camera is the amount of zoom that you can get on it without having to crop the actual image. Okay so this camera has got a 53 times advanced zoom but only a 32 times optical zoom. However the 32 times optical zoom that's the one that actually moves the camera and the lens inside it is actually pretty good and you can get some really decent shots out of it without having to use the digital zoom and crop the image so that's one thing that I really like however if you are going to be using it for what we're doing it for and filming YouTube videos you probably don't need to be zooming in 32 or 53 times but it's kind of a nice to have. Okay guys so the third thing I like about this camera is it's really user friendly and it's got a lot of functionality in it but at the same time anyone can start using this camera to film their videos with. So with this camera you can control things like exposure, white balance, you can have lots of presets like sepia, black and white mode, all of that on a touchscreen interface on the screen. Really nice user friendly experience. So if you are just getting straight into using cameras and you don't want to be using all these complicated DSLRs, this is a great camera for you because it's kind of a really nice camera to get used to and learn how to use. Okay guys, so those are three things that I liked about this camera. Now I'm going to go into the things that I really do not like about this camera. Now the first thing that I hate about this camera is kind of the quality of it. Now you're watching this video at the moment and I'm hoping hoping it looks pretty decent or slash it's looking all right it doesn't look like it's filmed on a potato but for the price point I really would like a much higher quality camera so don't forget you can go out and get a DSLR camera put a little lens on it and you can get some good depth of field with it whereas this one you can see behind me the background isn't really blurred there's some noise around me it's a bit grainy and to be honest for the price point I know it's a cheap camera but what I would expect for the price is something slightly better than what I'm getting with this camera. Now, especially from the fact that it's a camcorder and it's specifically designed to take video and not be kind of like a photo video hybrid like a DSLR camera, I would kind of expect a better video quality, but I guess you've got to work with what you've got. So that's one thing I would say when you're taking into account getting a camera, the number one thing in my opinion is taking into account the quality, not so much the form factor and all the other stuff. And if you're thinking if you're going for quality, I wouldn't suggest going for this camera. So with the quality of this camera, you do find that you get a lot of noise a lot of grain and it's really not a nice experience to work with now I know people will say it's all about the lighting it's all about this that and the other but yes lighting is very important we know from experience at the moment I've got every single light on in this bedroom at some points we've even used floodlights to get this camera to at least film some pretty decent shots and when you're having to use floodlights and you're still getting grain and noise you do know that there's something wrong with the camera. Okay guys, so the second thing that I dislike about this camera is the microphone. So I'm gonna do a small comparison between the onboard microphone on the camera at the moment, then I'm gonna do a comparison between the Red 5 RV6 microphone that we use to kind of record all these vocals. That's what you're listening to at the moment. Okay guys, so I'm gonna switch now into the camera microphone and you can hear kind of a hum in the background, like a buzzing noise. Now that noise is background noise, really gets picked up and in the end gets really annoying. Now this camera apparently does have a feature where you can attach an external microphone, but you don't have like a kind of a fixing point on the camera. So it's not really very useful. If you can attach it, you can't attach it to the camera. You can only plug it in and kind of have it dangling on the side. Okay guys, and then the third and final thing that I dislike about this camera is the fact that it's completely made out of plastic, obviously excluding the lens and all that stuff inside it. But the outside shell is 100% plastic and that does give it a kind of a cheap, lightweight feel that you really don't want for a camera that's gonna set you back about 140, 150 pounds. Okay guys, so that is the end of today's video. The camera that we use to film these videos, again, is the Canon Legria HFR 406. So so my conclusion would be don't go out and get this camera, but draw your own conclusions from this video and all of our other videos. Don't forget, go ahead and watch some of the old videos. Then you guys can see what quality it's like, especially for filming tech videos. And if you're thinking of starting a tech channel, you can make a judgment of whether you want to go and get this camera. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe and turn on notifications. And we'll see you in our next video, guys. Live long and prosper.